What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Hey, we are here to talk about our experience at and pickups from Mo Game Con Eight. As much as we love this convention, we always love checking it out and everything. But one of our favorite things before we get to the convention itself are the people that we get to meet. So yes. let's take this back to the start. Feel free to skip ahead if this part is boring. It's not boring to us because we enjoy seeing the people we don't normally get to see. For instance, meeting for the first time, Chris Telesplash Gaming. The guy flew in all the way from Washington State to Missouri, which people had to have thought that he was insane for doing that in the first place. Let's see what kind of day laborer we have here. This one might work. <laughs> I think this one might work right here. Taught him a thing or two about good Midwest barbecue. Yeah, he'd never had burnt ends before, so we showed him what those are. Rock. I don't think I can I can go to Washington knowing they don't have burnt ends. <laughs> we also took him to uh, our hometown startup, Hertz Donut. He loves peanut butter and jelly, so he got a peanut butter and jelly donut there. And he rather enjoyed uh, the swings that they had there. <laughs> and then came home and we showed him the house. Oh, he was stunned when he finally saw the house. Retro refresh crew, guess where I am? <laughs> Uh-oh. Their game room is, honestly, it's not that cool. Because the game house, there's actually not a room in this house that doesn't have games in it. I think it's because whatever you guys see the video, yeah, you see this backdrop and everything, but you gotta realize it keeps going. Like, there's something nerdy in almost every part of the house. He did call us out. One of the bathrooms doesn't have anything nerdy, so we are going to get on top that. of that. He liked seeing the game room. He liked seeing the toy room that yes. you have going on. Even his room that he was staying in has a, a good nerdy flair to yep. it and everything. He liked the giant fish he got to sleep with. <laughs> Let's sleep with the fish. Look at that, Mario. It keeps going. Doesn't ever stop. It is a game house. It's a games games room. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> then you get from the kitchen to this room, and this is a, this is where the living live. Toys, games, plushies. It's fucking insane. And how come Tom hasn't given us that kind of tour before? Despite all of that, knowing what we had ahead of us, we didn't even play any games in here. Which is funny, we really expected to spend the whole night in here playing games, but we spent it in the living room just talking. That weird, not weird, I just met you, but, but we I know, know you, you so well for <laughs> polo and everything. And we took him to our Mexican restaurant, and that was fantastic because he was a sweetheart and paid for our dinner, but when he stood up with the check, he kind of froze. And I'm thinking, oh crap, did we order too much food? Is it too expensive? He was broken because of how cheap it was. Here in Missouri versus Washington State, he told us the night before he had gone out for Mexican and spent like 80 bucks. For just him and his wife. Between the three of us, it was $36 total. And he just, he couldn't fathom it. He said he took a picture of it and sent the, the receipt to his wife. Thought that was hilarious. So we didn't stay up too late, got on the road bright well, and early. We stayed up late for us. Well, yeah. Uh, but got up <laughs> bright and early. We took them to Bucky's to show off the 100 pumps that they have and the uh, freaking biggest gas station that we have. I know. Had in he our was area. shocked at how big it was. We found an amazing shirt for him, but unfortunately, they wanted 70 bucks yeah. for it. And even he said no to that. Once we were on the road, though. I got me a cute little bucket oh, you, thing, though. Oh, of course you did. Of course I'm going to get a plushie. And I have been loving these cu cuff things, putting them on my um, backpacks and stuff like that. So I had to get me a Bucky little cutie yeah. cuff. We took him to uh, a fun little Route 66 stop, which he was He was so impressed. stoked to be on Route 66. And we were on it for like whole five seconds. But he was like, I can't believe it, I'm on Route 66. This is so awesome. I'm like, I guess for us, it's like, we're the birthplace of it. So it's not a big yeah, deal Yeah, I felt so us. bad that he was that excited. And it's like, man, while we were in town, we could have taken you to, you Probably know. were on it at one point, but didn't even realize he was so <laughs> excited about it. So I didn't tell him. But we showed him Uranus. And you got a mug. I did get course. a mug. 
I got a mug that says, we pump it in the front and lube it in the rear, Uranus Gas and Lube Company. So if you ever get a chance, we did do a video on Uranus, go check it out. But if you're ever on, um, on I-44 near us, go check out Uranus. It's a cute mock little town, so much fun. Best fudge packers in town. <laughs> they do a lot of kitschy stuff there. <laughs> it's one of those places that it's perfect if you're taking a road trip to stop, get out, stretch your legs. Clean bathroom. Grab something to drink and yeah. snack on and everything. It's a lot harder than it would take. Burning, burning. I knew it. They have a cream for that. In your anus. Hey, have you seen Chris? I haven't seen Chris at all. Where's my one meal? <laughs> Where's his tin can where you go tink, 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 tink. A meal? Oh, you must be used to them city jails. <laughs> <laughs> we made it to St. Louis where we picked up Sean 8-Bit Glitch, who At was the shocked to see yes. Chris. So uh, yeah, we had kept Chris a secret for months. He was our dirty trip. little secret. We headed over to the Airbnb. Now, this is something that we love to do whenever we go to Mo mm -hmm. Game Con. We rent an Airbnb and all of us stay there because it is so much more comfortable than just hanging out in a hotel room and it's awkwardly sitting on a bed. Yeah, once everyone pays their portion, I think ours was what? It was like 65 bucks a head. Cause we had like 13 people there. For the weekend. For the whole weekend. So 65 bucks and you're staying somewhere for a weekend. Yep. You can't beat that price. Well, there is that bridge, but that angry fellow told me not to come back. <laughs> this was a really cute house, a nice neighborhood literally within walking so distance from a target house. that if you needed anything like hairspray or yes. something <laughs> it was a quick walk over there so that was really nice but uh, we all walked there the first night and everybody got like supplies for the weekend like food snacks drinks and stuff yeah oh and of course we checked out the toy aisle Had like to all that. of us because you know we're all just man and women children of course <laughs> but the house itself looks so tiny on the outside it did unassuming. yes so much space on the inside. Uh, it was like a TARDIS house. It was. Three levels. Yes. A bathroom on each level. Yes. Which came in very handy. Very, very handy for the 100 challenge uh, White Castle thing. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you want all the bathrooms you can get. The rest are team players. Yep. But they... <laughs> Those West Coasters. <laughs> Yes. She she yeah, likes she likes when you deep throat them, Chris. Come on. <laughs> the main level had this nice dining room with a, a perfect big, table. Long dining room table. We utilized that not just for food but tabletop gaming. Yes. We played uh, a game that they had brought. Play, rewind. Eject. Eject. It's all a movie yes. theme. You gotta randomly draw three movies. And you have to get rid of one, keep one, and remake one. Yes. I would love to see a remake of Good Trace. Which one of the and oh, I think you had more fun explaining it. I did, because people were kind of shocked about things, movies that I liked or didn't like. It was a fun game because uh, me and you, Fresh and Mary, pretty much played it the whole time. But everybody kept coming and going. Like People would sit down and play a couple of rounds and they'd leave. And other people would come in and play a couple of rounds. So it was a nice game that you could just like pick up and Yeah, we didn't go. care about points. We, yeah. we were keeping score for a little while, but after a while it's just, we kind of want to hear what people's answers yeah, are. Yeah, it was, it was so much fun. Apparently it was a Kickstarter game. So I'm hoping that um, it eventually makes itself to uh, like Amazon or something. The basement, speaking of parties, that had so much room. It had this couch yes. that could pretty Huge much game well set all of us. And that's where most everyone gathered to play some video games. Yes. There's a big TV down Huge there. Huge TV. Peter brought a CRT as he does. And then Pico brought like a little TV. Right on her. Jumped when she was there. You go. I freaking pressed the button! <laughs> I pressed the... And at one point, Saturday night, they actually had a fight going on the big TV, but then there was still like gaming going on yeah. elsewhere. And it's like, that's the kind of thing that you did when you were a kid or a teenager. Yeah. And you'd go and have a sleepover at a friend's house. You got something going on one TV, everyone's playing a game, you got other people playing like card games or whatever. And that's like the whole feel of it. That's yeah. We all like the made pizza and pizza rolls. And right, because so. that's what you do at a sleepover. <laughs> pizza and pizza roll, guys. <laughs> it was so, we had a blast. It was just so much fun. So yeah, again, as much fun as the convention was, and we're getting to that, uh, <laughs> the hanging out with friends is that's like really what we go for because most of these people yes. we see once a year if we're lucky 
Uh, and, you know, some people like Chris meeting for the first time, Fresh and Mary meeting him for the first time. Very, very Which, awesome. That was so much fun getting to surprise him on everyone there. That's right. Yeah, I had a great time trying to catch people's reactions of meeting Chris the first time. Again, we kept him a secret. Yep. I should open the door and be like, yeah, you tell him, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Did you bring burgers for all of us? Yes. No. Well, I no. Go. Yeah. I ate too much junk food on the way here. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> from gaming off the grid that was hilarious because he's coming downstairs we're all down there he's talking and then chris just starts talking to him and wes even looks at chris and then just freaks out it was like it like cannot compute boom <laughs> it's just that side street you turned on just behind yeah, the right like the there. parking ramp no, no, like that side street, like, just like right you know, we came on the side street and then turned onto the okay. side. It's that one right there. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, dude! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! Holy hell, man. Oh, one of the reasons we love seeing everyone is uh, usually we'll have like little gifts or trinkets mm -hmm. or stuff. Oftentimes it's things that we pick up throughout the year and we're like, oh, I think so and so would like this. I think, yes. you know, so and so would like that. And they do the same because we got some goodies. One thing that's planned though is a beer exchange with Captain yes. Algebra. Because he has New Glarus beer that is not allowed outside to be sold outside of the state of Wisconsin, which sucks because they have amazing beer. So he's our hookup. And yes. he brought us some new ones. Was it Drecker's? I think, I think so, yeah. But some really delicious stuff. One of them was a peanut butter and jelly sour. Yeah, sour. You know, these flavors, peanut butter usually goes with like a heavier beer, yes. like a stout. But this was a sour. I think the sour was in the jelly part of it, but I definitely tasted like that peanut butter and it was very smooth and buttery and you could almost taste like the wheat of the bread and then the sour was in the jelly. I think it was grape and plum was the, the flavors they were going there for it. It was so smooth. It was so good. It was, I don't know, it was kind of dangerous. He brought you another sour that you really he liked. He did, which I actually liked even better than the peanut butter and jelly. It was a raspberry sour. And oh my gosh, this was almost like a raspberry juice sour. It was so, so good. I don't normally drink a beer all by myself. I had to share with somebody over here. Nice. Uh, we're lucky we even <laughs> got it at all with Telesplash. Yeah, Telesplash had a couple of them. And luckily, Cat brought an extra one for us. I don't know what's more dangerous, that beer or the big, big <laughs> bottle of wine you and Mary split. Yes, we I did. I think I got like a thimble worth of that. You had enough. Sean really hooked us up with he some did. great stuff. First of all, uh, he's one of our comic book guys. He loves comics yes. as much as we do. He's always telling us, you know, stories about the comic shop that he went to and everything. <laughs> he knows I like my swimsuit issues in the vein of comics and pinup and everything. Check out this April O'Neill print. This thing is awesome. I like the fact that it's very much a pinup, but the art style, her yeah, with the mousers, her dick, clothes good. are all ripped and everything, but even her face, that style is very reminiscent to me of the comics that I read, like in the 90s. That was really my era, so that's what it makes me think. He even got it signed, Which little is awesome. turtle doodle down there. I love so, her like little button great. nose. It's so cute. Yeah, she is adorable. And then he sent, because Deadpool and Wolverine, he got me a really amazing Deadpool glass. He said these were from his comic book shop. They've been getting these in. And so he picked me up a really cool Deadpool. 
And then he got me a straw topper of Kirby, Unicorn Kirby, just super duper cute. And then he sent a amazing poster from Too Many Games because he knows how much I absolutely love Zombies Ate My Neighbors. So you got Mario and Luigi being all zombified. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and since we can't make it out to that convention, people like him and Bandana, J-Love, they always have our back. They are always watching out for us whenever they <laughs> see something that they know that we would yeah. uh, Oh, and there was, there was this. You know, the Nintendo World Championships edition of the NES. So he got us the nice big box set. That was way too sweet of him. He asked me if I had got this, and I said, no, I meant to, but I kind of lost track of time. You know, with all the conventions and everything we've been going through, how can I forget? Why are we so busy? He had apparently accidentally ordered two, like you do, and he knew that he had a good home sending it here. So nice big bundle on the Switch. You actually had some uh, Game Envy people there, and they were, uh, after looking at the box, they were like, I'm really mad I didn't get this. So they Ooh. wanted, they uh, were looking at Target when we were there to see if they still had it, <laughs> and said, otherwise, we're going to have to go over to Best Buy. <laughs> oh, sorry, suckers. It's gone. <laughs> actually, I'm kind of surprised since it's such a party game thing that we didn't just fire this up. We probably should have. Probably. I think uh, we just kind of put it in the suitcase just to keep it safe and forgot about it. Yeah, from the people who wanted it. Actually, yeah, good point. Good point. <laughs> And last but not least, he got us, because he knows how much we love our horror movies, oh, this man. Kill Her Goats. I am already super excited to see this. I know nothing about this. He totally surprised yeah, me. Yeah, he said it's it's um, murder, it's horror, and Kane Hodder. What else do you need? Well, I think he said boobs in there, too. That's true, boobs. And he, at one point, I think a Lamborghini shows up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's like, okay, <laughs> all right. This, this is we our, cannot probably our next it. movie night. Yes. I think Chris wants us to watch Joker, but I'm sorry, man. This, this is, is bumping Joker. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Co-op of Nerds hooked us up with Sticker, which... Will become a magnet. Yes. <laughs> and a really cool button. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were showing our uh, co op pride all weekend long, uh, putting them on our bags, barrels, yes. shirts, and everything. So, so much thank fun. Thank you, guys. Yes. Again, so awesome to finally meet you. Yes. I mean, they are kind of in the Midwest, and it's weird that this is the first time we finally got to... They're just like the more Midwest. northern, wind, which is everybody's northern Midwest. So. <laughs> <laughs> and Peter, Waves and Games. Yeah, he you. made a very sweet, sentimental rug. He said since Toby was always under... Underfoot. He made something where she could still be underfoot. How One of my favorite pictures of her. So I have something to always remember her by. That is so I know. cute. That so is really cute. The question sweet. is, it's like, are you going to use it as a rug? It's like, I, I don't know. want to mess it up. There's a part of me that like doesn't, but then there's a part of me that's like, yeah, I think it'll look great. But I do know that the minute I put it on the floor, Paul will claim it as his. Uh, and it will yeah, have he, hair all he, over it. He will. And one of the gifts that we got was a little representative of some tabletop love. Chris Pico, <laughs> the old ass retro gamer. For the Boss Monster Hero game. He collects retro games and collaborates with fellow YouTubers. That he does. Although uh, it says up top, fighter, ordinary hero, you're anything but ordinary, just FYI. He would appreciate this because he likes the Oh, hey, spoilers. Okay, okay, this is the part that probably most of you have been waiting for. It's very much a two-sided coin, you know, you, you get that great time with your friends, but then you get that great time at the convention. First and foremost, Mo Game Con was in a brand new location this year. Much better location. Thank you very much. The space in here was fantastic. There was so much room. You could legit for walk aisles. around with your arms straight out and not hit somebody. Although you hit me like so many times. Why were you doing that? Because it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> but they knew that uh, the previous year yes. had some issues and they took that feedback to heart. They found a new location and they made sure that was there was plenty of space. Plenty of space and the air conditioning worked. Oh, yes. That's all I so care much. about is air Thank conditioning. You so much. It felt so comfortable in there the whole time. The only two complaints that I have and that I seem to share with a lot of people that we spoke to, there wasn't really anything else going on as far as like panels. Uh, there was a cosplay contest happening, mm -hmm. but there weren't like arcade cabinets or, or like an arcade setup or anything. Yeah. I think that stuff like that is always beneficial to any convention, not just Mobile. Gives you stuff like some sit down time. Some sit down time. But also, if you're thinking of buying something, I'm going to go play some Street Fighter for a little bit, or I'm going to go listen to this guy talk for a little bit. And as you're doing that, you start thinking, mm, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I do want to go get it. They did have a guest scheduled that canceled at the last right. minute. Right. The guy who voiced Squidward was going to be there, but unfortunately, 
he had to cancel due to some unforeseen circumstances. The other thing, and again, this is a minor one, no food on the premises. Yeah, that was kind of weird. No concessions, no food trucks. You have to think of how fickle people can be, and when they leave, once they're gone, it's very easy for them to stay gone. If you're keeping people on site, they're going to keep spending money Because we lost on about site. two, two and a half hours going to get lunch. I feel like those are such minor complaints. Yeah. And again, thank you guys so much for all your hard work and answering the feedback of last year and giving us space. I mean, yes. that, that was amazing. Yes. So yes, let's talk about some pickups. No order at all. We got a CD wallet that's embroidered with Tomb Raider 3. Why did we get this? Because it is embroidered with Tomb Raider 3. Yeah. How Literally, often do you guys see that? Yeah. What, what do we like to find at conventions? Weird shit. Weird shit. There you guys go. <laughs> I did pick up some NES games. And, oh, check it out. I put them in these fancy video game dust sleeves. Thanks, Chris. Plug, plug. Over at <laughs> VGDS. And everyone that we could get to sign them, signed them. All the people that were present in the Airbnb are represented on there. The games that I got were Snake, Rattle, and Roll. I was actually surprised I didn't have this game. I remember playing this. It's just a weird game. You're a snake. You eat stuff. You make yourself longer. And you got to try to get to the end. And the first time I ever was introduced to this game, some drunk dude at a party was playing it. And he was amazing, even though he could not walk down the hallway. Okay. <laughs> the other game... <laughs> This was more just a nostalgia thing. I have heard that it does not control very well, so it's probably not the most fun game to play, which sometimes was the case with licensed games in the day. But I have such nostalgia for that cartoon. I really enjoyed it back in the day. We don't need to watch it now. It can it can live nicely <laughs> up here. It can make sure We've it's made that fine. mistake before. Well, there was a booth that had a dollar bin, and of course I'm gonna go nutters in the dollar bin. I got a serious black Funko Pop and Mother of Dragons Funko Pop. And then there was a weird skeleton man that just caught my eye. And I was like, he's really cool looking. Then I looked him up later because I had no idea what he was from. Apparently he's a Scooby-Doo monster. And then I got a Ma Madonna. I think her name was like Mahoney, like something Mahoney or something like that from Dick Tracy. So she's half plush, half plastic. I noticed she still has her tag. She does still have her tag on her, which is actually kind of impressive. She's actually in fairly decent shape. The only problem is they, like, made her look, like, and I know that she's trying to be sultry, but she looks stoned. And for 50 cents at the same booth, I got this really adorable Wishables Disney Parks Headless Horseman. It's so cute. He, it's not threatening at all. He's just super cute. <laughs> this is the plushie. only other plush that I got at the convention orange Yoshi because I'm collecting all the colors of Yoshi in this. I didn't intend to and so I started getting multiple colors and so I was like, okay, fine. I think the only one left is maybe yellow and pink. And I got all the other I'll colors. I'll take so. your word for it. I can't keep up with all of your toys. That's for sure. I picked up a boxed copy of Populous. I don't think it has the manual in there, but the cart was in excellent shape. Yes. And the box is in fairly good condition yeah, too. Really only a is. minor scrub, scrapes and scruffs. And the other Super Nintendo game I picked up, I don't remember where even, there were a lot of video games there, you guys, <laughs> was... The, At a video game convention? The what? Justice League Task Force. So, you know, do a little superhero action in there. Well, I got me a video game there. It's a Cyborg Girl. It is a PC game, but I didn't care because the cover art on this thing was just really cool. You got boobs and butts and, like dreadlock red hair tendril things going on it's just so 90s and it is a pinball game and you know so there's all this fun things you can look at while you're playing pinball it was a buck i didn't care i know would ever play it it's just the art was so great on it i had chris's attention when i said it was pinball though did you say pinball pinball oh, shit. did you say pinball <laughs> <laughs> nice gift from show me retro patrick was this Metal. Artwork, I've always kinda. loved the artwork of Castlevania. Castlevania was one of those games that I would go to the video store and I would just pick a game off of whatever the cover art was. And so this one, I was like, oh man, Vampire's Castle's cool. I found a $20 Lego set 
still in the box. So we got Bro Thor here eating pizza. I've wanted this set for a really long time, so I was super excited to get it for 20 bucks, and I cannot wait to put it together. In fact, I thought about putting it together there, but we were too busy. I found a couple of Japanese games. One is for the Sega Saturn, so we do have our Saturn modded to play all games. Looks like it is Gradius 1 and 2. I believe these are the arcade ports, so none of that NES stuff, which is fine. I, I love the NES original, by the way. <laughs> but I thought this would be a great one to have. And ages ago, I used to have Einhander by Squaresoft, a fantastic shooter on PS1. I don't have it anymore, so I probably gave it to someone who really loved the game at some point because I'm usually an idiot like that. <laughs> She usually scowls at me for stuff like that. <laughs> and because the price has gone up insanely on the America one, I got the Japanese version. So I just need to figure out a good way to play a Japanese game on a PS1. I found a really cute artist booth, and I love the fact that his business card is a Pokemon card. <laughs> we picked up some really cute um, bookmarks from him. And you're the one who picked these out. Yes, the Final Fantasy one I'm absolutely keeping for myself. But the one that has that Pokemon theme, I believe I will be sending that to Sega Head. But what drew my attention to his booth were these adorable keychains. So we've got the Super Nintendo here with the controllers hanging off it. And I love the fact that there's like a game in there and then you flip it over and it's kind of the back. But then this one was the one I really liked. Was the connected Game Boys and... On the back, you flip them over, and it's the back of the Game Boy, which I thought was really cute and clever. Speaking of charms, one of the cosplayers gave you yes. a bell so I wouldn't lose you. I know. I, you could keep a hold of me the whole time I was there. It was really cool. I went up to her. I was like, your costume looks amazing. Let me take a picture of you. And after I took it, she goes, you guys are so great. Here you go. I have swag for you, too. <laughs> and also, you know, whenever you see a cosplayer and they look amazing, let them know, because they usually put a ton of work they into do, that. They do, and they want to hear it. they to hear that, so... Something that we couldn't pass up on. There's a little bit of scuffing dings on the outer parts. The plastic, though, is always kind of this soft plastic. And then that metal plating that they used for the cover. It that looks good. asking to be damaged. It looks good and shiny, but it just, you know, asks to be rough. So the first one we got was Donkey Kong 2. The only thing that is wrong with the outside other than the scuffs you miss or mentioned is that it is missing the battery cover. Which is very common for yes. anything like this. The inside, though, looks amazing. Super great condition on the inside. The screens are not scratched. It doesn't even look like anybody really played it. The next one we got... Same quality on the outside and missing the battery cover, but it was Mario Brothers. So I was so excited to find these notable titles. It wasn't just some random game and watch, but what I really liked about it was the way it opened and you had that kind of dual screen, each side Mario and Luigi and everything. Again, inside amazing condition. I think it came out to about $40 each for the condition that they're in, the yes. fact that they work. That's very cool. Battery cover, I'm not too worried about. Sean even said he knows someone that might try to 3D print yeah. a replacement, which would be great. So I was so excited to finally now we have three Game & Watches and they're heavy hitter titles. We got Zelda, we got Mario, we got Donkey Kong. Well, we have one other handheld to try. The funny thing is they had $80 untested as is. We got the price down to $20. Condition wise, everything looks pretty good. The one exception being the door that goes over the cartridge, it looks like someone tried to pry that open instead of using a little spring load on it. So it doesn't snap closed anymore. Let's see, this is my first time ever messing with a Lynx. We got some batteries in there. We have a game in there. It doesn't look like it's even powering on. The next thing that we will try is matching the voltage and use just the power cable in case there's something up with the battery slots themselves. Maybe the batteries we're trying are dead. So I picked up the cutest, happiest little mimic box. Little mimic dice box. So cute. I mean, he's not evil. Look how, look at that smile. He's just so adorable. It's not, it's not scary at all. Again, this was in no specific order. Uh, the last thing that we have to show you, though, is... Rather large. We, we don't have the space... Yes, we do. ...for a thing like this. Come on. <laughs> it's the big Mickey Mouse joystick. From 1UP Arcade. 
So we already have the Pac-Man one. There's the Pac-Man arcade, the Mickey Mouse one, and then one that looks like an Atari joystick. So I've got my eye out for that Atari joystick. I was super excited to see this one. I saw it from across the room and I had to go get it. And this has got a bunch of really fun Disney games on it. It's just a nice plug and play. So I cannot wait to plug it in and check out some of the games that are on there. Maybe that's why we got such a good job, a good deal on the links because he was like, oh good, they're taking the big thing. So I don't have to pack that up yes. now. <laughs> yeah, uh, just a weird eclectic mix of stuff from a gaming convention because that's what we do. I don't think I have too much buyer's remorse. There was a really cute um, remote control Mario on a Vespa that I thought was really adorable. And I did think I'm about surprised. that one. I did think about that one. When we first saw that thing, yeah, I thought it was coming home with you. I, that surprised me. <laughs> Sometimes I get overwhelmed and I just don't think clearly. Well, make sure that you guys check out uh, some of the other people that we went to the convention with to see what they picked up. Yes. Uh, Captain Algebra's already got a video out. Co-op of Nerds got a video out. You guys are going to see so many pickups from O Game Con that hopefully it will encourage you to go yourself. We would love to see you next year. After the convention, it was back to the Airbnb and try to get a little more rest, which honestly, Saturday night worked out a little better. I think everyone was a little tired. Yes. Make a mistake. Fast, 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 fast. How many did you get through? Cheers. Oh, really? Yeah. Holy shit, dude. Well, it was Sunday morning, and this the is always sad day. the worst part. Yeah. It's time to say goodbye, but first, we all got together and had one last meal together. We went to, what was it? Uh, Bis honey, honey, honey bee beans. and biscuits, honey bees Bis and biscuits, or something yes. like that. <laughs> uh, so nice little biscuit themed breakfast place. Not little, place. not little no, biscuits. No, they're big old. Those is big biscuits. <laughs> we tried a couple of things on the yes. menu. The general consensus seemed to be the biscuit and gravy was, was fantastic. The best, though. yes. But okay. we tried the biscuit and gravy. We tried the biscuit, the biscuit French toast, which was a peach syrup on top, which I loved. You weren't the biggest fan of peaches. And then we did a breakfast sandwich, and I did Fruity Pebbles Milk. I did uh, one of their iced coffees, I think the car the salted caramel one, and that was really good. Yes. You could have used a little more flavor in your milk. Uh-huh, My mine was more just like a sweet milk. I feel like you get more Fruity Pebble flavoring after you've had a bowl of Fruity Pebbles and you drink the milk there. Yeah, we had to say goodbye out in the parking lot, which was really tough. Most everyone went their own ways, but we still had old Sean and Hello Splash, Chris, it wasn't me stuck with us. It. I put my hand up here, I just like rest my middle finger on it. So my hand right, it's going to pop right out. Oh my god. The Indian adhesive has like a 15 year lifespan, that's probably why it popped out here. The car's not 15 years oh, old! Oh, shut up, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Their flights left a little later in the day. Yes. And I feel like they were kind of waiting for us to just drive them to the airport and be like, see ya. Yeah. But, but no. Nope. not us. We went to a mall and found a V stock, a vintage stock, yes. and found some stuff there. Found some goodies. Sean really liked the place because it reminded him of a store that he has back home. Hey, so we're breaking our car. There's nowhere to run, you dumb snack size uh, wrecking ball. <laughs> Snack size wrecking ball. <laughs> I'll say some really good. Even though it's not a gaming convention, I found a game. Well, of sorts. I got the uh, PlayStation VR demo disc three, and I think we now Is that have all of them. Them all. I think those so. are a lot of fun. I mean, don't laugh at a demo disc for the VR. It's a lot of fun. It just gives you multiple little snippets of games. I had to grab some comics. I got this great looking Mutant X. I love that series. That anyway. cover is amazing. You, speaking of covers, were grabbing some yes, just based on the X-Men 92, simply because you've got Gene and Scott. I don't know if they're on their honeymoon or just on a vacation. And then, oh, look at the shadow. And then we've got the wedding special. We've got three tales of mutants, mer ma mutant matrimony in the making. See, that's a five times fast. Yeah, do it. No. <laughs> Another X-Men 92, you lose. And then X-Men Legends. I mean, pretty much anything with Mr. Sinister. We're yeah, you to. love. And then I enjoy a good Mystique, so we got a nice Mystique cover here with a bone of throne, throne of bones. A bone whoa. throne? Whoa. whoa. <laughs> Let's not call it a bone throne. <laughs> Why not? Actually, you can call it. Uh, oh, also, <laughs> I found this. Uh, it's like a graphic novel collection. So, fanboys versus zombies. I was flipping through it, and it's like, I don't know. This looks like a lot of fun. I mean, it is bloody and gory, but it looks like there's a bunch of little pop culture nerdy yeah. references in it, everything. So, that was pretty neat. 
And I got this Dragon's Crown Artworks book, which I've always liked the artwork from some of the Atlas games that use this style. And sometimes, you know, you get pictures like oh, this. Oh, she's just having dinner. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a little messy, though. Getting a little drippy there. But no, it's, uh, it's really cool. I like art books with games, especially like whenever you get that big bundle set. And even if they give you one of the smaller ones, it's neat. I'm still, you know, enjoying some Deadpool love, and I got this wonderful comeback creator. More than 150,000 retorts from the Merc with the Mouth. There's nothing I like better than stomping on a squeaky-voiced, clingy stink pot. I'm not judging you. You're just a precious, horrifying husk. I also picked up this really adorable little Spider-Man plushie bag keychain thingy. So, I've been having fun hanging those off my lounge flies. Speaking of bag clips... I love for girl bags, mystery bags, and trying to find that right character, which I did. I found a Gambit, which one I was ex super excited about because I looked online and he's going for like 25 bucks and I don't want to pay 25 bucks for him. So I picked up some fun Star Wars for girl bag clips. I got Han from Endor and I got an, I think it's an ATST, I think. Those are always the fun ones where they just have the two little leggies that fall over really easy because an Ewok <laughs> threw a rock at it. And then I got Terra Syndulla. This was one I was hoping to get. And I did such a good job finding this one that I found her twice. Oops. <laughs> Oopsies. So but that's okay because I know a girl who uh, will probably like her. You also got uh, some Japanese treats to try. Some Lay's. Looks like uh, they're almost like Pringle chips. Yeah. Sushi and shrimp flavor. I think that is finally all of our pickups. We, we got a lot this weekend. Yeah. We did have to take Sean to the airport after the mall, which that was a bummer. Really sad to say sad. goodbye. Uh, we had Chris for just a few more hours. We had a dinner with him. Went to another barbecue place. Not as they good had burnt ends, but not as good as our burnt ends. Really good saying. turkey, though. Good and smoked turkey. get this. We <laughs> found six minutes away from the airport a place called The Waiting Room. And this is a barcade of sorts with pinball tables. Which Chris right now is obsessed with pinball. Welcome aboard. This time. High level pinball, watch this. Bounce it off. Right over here. One clip is all I need. Not only that, but this place happened to have one of his favorite tables. Yes, fish one of the tails. ones that he wants to get next. He was so excited. He was so excited about this table that the night we, he came into town, he made us pull up a YouTube video of this table. So he showed it to us before we even knew we were going to find true. it. Yeah. So that was a great find. We easily spent some time there. Oh, and the icing on the cake was the fact that this was Sunday. Play pinball on Sundays. You show up and play for free. Like, like, how can this get any better of a send off? I have a feeling he'll fly into St. Louis just so he can go play there and then fly home. He, yeah, probably, <laughs> probably, just take an Uber ride over there, hang yeah. out for a little bit. <laughs> But then we had to send him off, and uh, that was it. We had a three-hour drive home. We got home very late, uh -huh. but it was worth it because, man, we we just milked every last minute we could. I will say the drive home was super sad because when we drove up there, we had Chris in the car. So it was kind of fun. We did a lot of fun talking about stuff. So it just felt a, a little empty on the drive home. A little, a little bit, yeah. Hopefully... We'll see all these faces next year at Mo Game Con, and maybe we'll see some new faces. In the meantime, leave some comments down below on our experience, our weekend. Let us know if you know you would do an Airbnb thing, or are you solely a hotel person? Like you know, you, you want you want your own space. You don't want to share a house with other people, or uh, you know, would you hit up any other places like a mall? Would you look for anything like arcades, barcades, anything like Game that? Game store. <laughs> I don't know the words. <laughs>
did we do all right with the Game & Watch, the Lynx, you know, what are we going to do to fix that? we got a giant Mickey arcade stick to find a space <laughs> for it now, so that should be fun. Lots of plushies and toys. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we'll see you guys soon. Bye, Nerdling. Bye. What's up, Your man? <laughs> and then her arm, she's more like a zombie. That's why you're right. You are the sleepless nights. <laughs> you are the endless day. <laughs> oh, I love you, brother. What's your name? Doug. Doug? Everyone calls it Fresh. Fresh? Duck Dougie Fresh? Fresh? Okay, see? I got it. I'm here. I'll tell It's taking so long, he's taking a drink. It was a townhouse we rented. We filled the hole. Oh, yeah. You know, we just do like. You're, you're lucky I have this much on. <laughs> He's already digging in. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, oh, it. He's gonna choke the chicken. I'm about two miles away. It already smells like farts in here. <laughs> I'm telling you, the toilet upstairs has pretty low pressure. I don't know. The it, super top of yeah, all upstairs? I don't know if it's going to be able to handle the White Castle. Oh, boy. <laughs> so. 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 <laughs> Most of the games really happen in Tom and Lacey's house. <laughs> this is my jam. I know this. Are you watching me? Are you watching me? Oh boy. I say now I believe it because I know Wes can actually beat this. <laughs> Oh, okay. Sean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm literally coming in. What? Oh, <laughs> now, if I had to sell that to you, I would call it whatever I need to. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're all coming from behind. Let's go! <laughs> There's my slider. Right here. Oh, oh, right here. I don't want a slider. No. Oh yeah. Where you going, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Come back here, make me. <laughs> and that was Malibu Record 43 and Gold Counter. Okay, so I will take That's a fire star. flower right. and then the gold. Round two. two. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's cue that Willy Wonka music. <laughs> I'm gonna walk a freaking front roll here in a second. <laughs> wow, there is a. Uh, you guys have a lot of stuff in this room. Where's my shopping cart at? <laughs> I want another one. Now keep track of how many you've eaten because we have a book that you have to write mm -hmm. in later. <laughs> oh. If and I can remember. Watch your boxes. Your boxes. No, watch your boxes. Just, Bro's yeah. gonna try and steal them and say it's his. Leave <laughs> it right there. Slappers only sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is a full day's worth of just looking around. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Old man time, baby. Cheers. 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 I'll be moving.